here are 10 AI tools that are gonna help you as a creator become way more efficient. So let's get started with tool number one, which I actually don't understand why people are just not talking about this one because I found it really helpful. It's called, let me see the name, it's called Chat GPT. Now tool number two, something a little less popular. This one is called Descript and it's a video editing tool that is gonna make the whole editing process way more enjoyable and a lot faster as well. For me, it's mind blowing how much time it has saved because I studied filmmaking and I've been editing videos for over 10 years. And the fact that I had to spend so many years editing without this script is just crazy. I've been already using it for two or three years and it's been a complete game changer. Now, the way it works is you drop a video instead of this script and that would give you a transcript so that the video now is skimmable, it's all text. And now what happens is that it works essentially as a Google Doc. You can just delete something and anything that you delete in the text is also deleted from the video. This means that you can just go quickly and see all the bad takes and delete them all at once very quickly, just selecting the text and editing it. If you want to rearrange something, you can cut something out of somewhere, paste it somewhere else. It's an incredible technology that makes video editing a lot more friendly for beginners, but also if you're more advanced, it can help you speed up through the first draft a lot faster. Now, on top of this, it has some really cool features. One that I love is called the Studio Sound. This one fixes your audio, it cleans it very nicely. To give you an example that affects me all the time, I live right next to a construction, so they're building something all the time in there and it's super loud noise that I simply can't control and the studio sound does remove that background noise very nicely. Sometimes you just have that annoying thing you can't control and having something like this in your arsenal of tools can definitely save your skin very quickly so that's really cool. Now on top of this, this script has some really cool features such as the ability to detect um, mm, you know, filler words like that, as well as all the silences in your video. So I'm literally doing this right now, right? I would make these pauses. And then when I upload the video to this script, with the click of a button, I can just remove all those silences in bulk, as well as any times where I go, uh, mm, absolutely love that. This script has some really cool features. So if you do find yourself editing a lot of video or even audio, it's definitely the tool for you. Now let's go to tool number three. For this one, I need to make the confession that I speak to myself quite a lot when I'm alone. I'm just constantly speaking to myself. And this tool helps me look a little bit more normal. And this one's called Otter, right? It's a recording app that essentially works as a note-taking app to record your thoughts and it would give you a really nice transcript. Now, when you create content and you want to reflect on ideas, you want to capture certain things quickly, or you just want to reflect on certain business decisions or just document the process of how something is going, I really find it helpful to just think out loud to just capture my ideas and be able to revisit them easily. So Otter is great for that. The way it works is essentially you just get the app and just start recording, right? And as you can see right now, this is transcribing what I'm saying. But then what's really cool about it is that it has some really cool AI features where you can interact with the transcript itself to help you analyze things faster, right? If you want to revisit something, you can ask questions to this chat and that makes it a lot easier to revisit the transcript when needed. Now, another really cool feature is that it integrates with Zoom. This means that if you have a Zoom meeting and you have that recording, you can put it in Otter or you can integrate the live and that way you have a transcript of the meeting and again you can use the AI chat to interact with the whole transcript to revisit things a lot faster. Now another way that I really like using Otter is to send voice notes to people that I work with or collaborate or people that I want to reach out because it's the best of both worlds. It's a bit more personalized message, you know, you get to hear the other person's voice but at the same time it's not as bad as like these voice notes in instant messaging apps because if they get long they're quite hard to revisit so sending an audio with a transcript i think is really cool it makes it easier to revisit a bit more personal this is actually one of my favorite ways to communicate online so if you're interested i'm currently offering this free customized plan for you and i'll send you an author voice note so that you can check out at the same time how this app works but the purpose of this is really to give you personalized advice on how you can use ai to advance and grow your content business because obviously ai is just just changing everything. It's predicted that by 2025, the creator economy is gonna grow into a hundred billion dollar industry. This means that there's an stampede of new creators that are coming because AI is just lowering the barrier. So if you're a creator and you want to really get ahead, right now is the time to just adopt AI and really use it strategically to grow your content. So if you're interested in this and you really want to go deep in how you can use AI to create more and better content without sacrificing authenticity, definitely check out that free custom plan that you can claim in the description. It's available for a limited 
limited amount of time for a limited amount of people because obviously I can't do this for absolutely everyone, but check that out. I really hope you find it helpful. With that said, let's go back to tool number four. This one is a note-taking app that is very efficient and might fit you really well as a creator who has a bunch of ideas and you just want to capture all of that somewhere. This app is called Mem and the best way to describe it, I would say, is like ChatGPT for your personal notes. Because Mem, you just write down notes like you would in Apple Notes or any other basic app like that. You just capture your notes, just write your ideas. But then what's cool is that Mem has a chat that searches across all of your notes. And if you ask a question to it, it give you an answer based on your specific notes. While ChatGPT uses information from the external world, Mem is all about your internal world, all the notes that you feed it. I think this is incredible for BC people that kind of just want an 80-20 solution where you don't really want to be spending too much time organizing your notes, but you obviously still want to find what you need. So Mem makes it super easy to just capture ideas and then you can just use that AI chat to find anything you need. I just really hope all note-taking apps use this AI chat because it's just so much more efficient to go through your notes in this way. So that's Mem. Check it out. I think you'll like it. Now let's move to tool number five. I use this tool to complement my workflow with ChatGPT. And one of the best ways to use ChatGPT is to have prompts that you would reuse over and over again. Now, obviously you don't want to write these out every time. And especially as prompts get longer, you definitely want to have somewhere where you save them. Now, usually people recommend to save this in somewhere like Notion or any note-taking app. But then what's annoying about that is that you have to open ChatGPT in a window and then let's say Notion in another app and you would have to go search for the prompt you want and then copy and paste it and I just think that's a complete waste of time because tool number five makes this so much more efficient and it's called TextBlaze. Now my workflow goes like this, right? I just go to ChatGPT, I know that I need a given prompt and I would just use a shortcut to open this pop-up from TextBlaze that allows me to search my whole library of prompts that I just put in TextBlaze. You just find the one that you need, enter, boom, it just pastes it into ChatGPT and now I have the prompt without having to go through the whole hassle of going searching for the prompt that I want. So this makes your use of ChatGPT way more efficient. I use TextBlaze literally all the time, every single day. It's been a huge time saver, just speeding up the whole workflow of just using my computer in general. So I hope you find it helpful as well. Now for tool number six, this one really helps me improve my writing process because whether you're scripting the ideas for a video like this one, or you're writing a newsletter or any post on social media, I believe one of the best ways to improve your writing is actually to write as you speak. That's literally why I speak what I write. That'll make sense in a second. This tool is called Breville and it's a very accurate dictation tool. It uses AI to predict what you're saying to make it as accurate as possible. It has this button, you press it, you start recording. What's cool is also you can pause if you need to think, which is really nice. And then you will just process what you just said to it. It's different from Otter, the one we were looking at before, which is more of a note-taking tool for reflecting and capturing a bunch of ideas. Whereas this one does more just immediate dictation. It just transcribes what you say into text and now you can use that text to carry on your writing process. So that's Breville. I really like it. It really helps my whole writing process become a lot smoother and helps me make sure that I'm writing in an authentic way, which means writing as I speak. So it's a very handy app that I hope you enjoy as well. Now let's go to tool number seven, which is one of my preferred research tools. Whenever I create content and I need to research something from a book, a blog post, any source material, I use this tool to help me research a lot faster and way more efficiently and this tool is called Ask Your PDF. Now, the way it works is anything that you want to research deeply, you transform into a PDF. You upload it into Azure PDF, and now you have an AI chat that helps you interact deeply with that PDF. So this is amazing because sometimes you have these ideas that you know you want to use in your content, right? Like you're making a YouTube video like this and you want to cite a book and you know what the book was, but you don't really know what the phrase was, what the concept was exactly, and you just want to revisit it. This is just so efficient because you can just ask the AI chat being like, hey, what was that concept? Or what does the author believe about this particular topic? And it would just give you a very smart answer based on what you ask it, right? You can ask it to summarize a whole idea through the book, or you can try to find a particular fact that was mentioned by the author. As a content creator, this tool can just help you so much time in the research process of the content you create. So now with tool number eight, this one is super handy when you need to create slides. This one's called Gamma. It uses AI to create slides. Now what's different, if you've ever seen these or you've tried any others, in my opinion, they're not that great because you would usually say something like, create a presentation based on why meditation is good, right? Something like that. And it would usually just like find whatever it can online and just would give you very generic information. Now, what's cool about Gamma is that you can feed it your own document. So you can give it a Google Doc or just paste your own long text and it would create a presentation based on what you give it. 
This is great because now the presentation actually feels like it was made by you because you actually wrote the source material. So it gives you really nice results. It has a very nice interface for just in general, creating nice presentations and modifying what is built for you with AI. So this one can be very handy, especially when you need to put together something really quick. I really like that it can use the information that you provide to it so that it would make something a lot less generic and a lot more helpful. So that one is Gamma. Now let's go to tool number nine. This one is for the Twitterers out there, for the Xers. It's just for Twitter or X.com. Whether you write tweets or you want to get into it, this one, in my opinion, is like the best one for posting your own tweets. So this one's called Type Fully and it's very intuitive to use, right? You just create new drafts to create new tweet. You can publish them immediately or you can schedule them out into the future wherever you want. But one of the things that I really like about it is that it has some really nice AI correction. Like the one that I use all the time is correct the grammar. But then on top of that, it has some really cool ones such as improved writing or one of my favorites, which is condensed writing. That I'm super helpful for writing tweets, obviously. And the way it works is just very, very nice. I really want to see more apps doing it like this because it highlights the changes that it does and you can accept them or deny them or you can copy them if you need to. And as you go deeper in creating tweets, Typefully helps you write out threads, which is really cool because it can automatically split them or if you just press enter several times, you can just split the threads. It's just so much easier to write threads that way. Typefully, very elegant writing experience, really enjoy writing in there. So if you like X slash Twitter, definitely check that out. Now, tool number 10, I couldn't keep out of this list and that is Meet Journey. You probably heard of it or probably already are using it because this one is just incredible. It helps you transform text into images. If you've heard of this tool and you haven't used it enough, I believe it's totally worth it because no matter what type of creator you are, at some point you're gonna need to develop some visual assets that can just make your brand look a lot cooler and whether you're selling digital products or you're just trying to post more on social media or you want to have like some nice visuals in your videos, Meet Journey can help you create some very unique art. I would encourage you to try to practice and get better at Midjourney because the results that you can get are incredible. You can use ChatGPT to help you come up with better ideas. So that's Midjourney. If you haven't used it, definitely check it out. If you're already using it, use it more. It's so cool. So I hope you enjoyed this list of tools. Obviously, there is a lot more of AI to explore out there. And I really think AI can help you improve your content system. So again, if you do want some personalized advice on that, check out the description below. You can fill in that form, give me a bit of context about yourself, and I'll get back to you with some very personalized advice specifically for you on how you can use AI in certain ways to build a bigger audience with your content. So that sounds cool. Hope to see you there. Have a great day. Talk soon. See ya.